nature of learning we know that learning is the process of acquiring skills knowledge values attitudes etc it enables the individual to learn good habits and brings progressive modification in behavior before going to the details please remember to subscribe this channel thank you learning is the process by which an individual acquire knowledge attitude and skill which are necessary to meet the demands of life for example while touching a burning candle or any hot items in the kitchen a child get burned and the kid withdraws the fingers when the kid faces a similar situation again he withdraws the fingers faster gradually the kid learns to avoid not only the burning candle but all other burning things the behavior of an individual is thus changed through experience this change in behavior brought about by experience is known as learning learning can result from both vicarious and direct experiences vicarious means observing someone and learning from that observation and not being directly involved in the experience for example a child learns how to clap hands by seeing someone else do it learning also takes place through direct experience for example a child learns to write by practicing the writing now let's see the nature of learning learning is universal that is every creature learns but the human beings learns the most because our nervous system is very complex learning is through experience that is learning always involves some kind of experience it can be direct or indirect then learning is from all sides that is children learn from parents teachers environment nature media etc learning is a continuous process it means that the learning is a life long process every day new situations are faced and the individual has to bring essential changes in his or her behavior to adopt it that is learning is from birth till death then it results in change in behavior it is a change of behavior influenced by previous behavior it is any activity that leaves a more or less permanent effect on later activity then learning is an adjustment learning helps the individual to adjust himself adequately to the new situations most learning in children consists in modifying adapting and developing their original nature in later life the individuals acquire new forms of behavior so through learning we learn to adjust to the changing situations then it comes about as a result of practice it is the basis of drill and practice that is it has been proven that individuals learn best and retain information longer when they have meaningful practice and repetition every time practice occur the learning continues then learning is a relatively permanent change for example a rat it wake up from its nap and still it remembers the path to the food even if you have been on a bicycle for years in just a few minute practice you can be quite proficient again so what we have learned 
it will be for a long term or it is a relatively permanent change. Next, learning as growth and development. It is a never ending growth and development. At each stage, the learner acquire new visions of his future, their growth and new ideas of achievement. All activity can be called learning so far as it develops the individual. Then learning is not directly observable. The only way to study learning is through some observable behavior. Actually, we cannot observe learning. We see only what precedes the performance, the performance itself and the consequences of the performance. So through behavior we can identify that somebody learned something. But the process of learning that we cannot observe. Then learning is a process. It is not a product. Learning is a fundamental and lifelong process. The attitude, fear, gestures, motor skills, language, skills, etc. are the products of learning. Then learning is comprehensive. The scope of learning is spread over each and every dimension of life. It is very comprehensive process which covers all domains like cognitive, affective and psychomotor of human behavior. Then instincts and reflexes, they are not learning. Changes in behavior on the basis of native response tendencies like the instincts or the reflex, they are not considered as learning. For example, infants sucking behavior then blinking at bright light. It cannot be considered or attributed to learning. Then, learning does not include changes in behavior due to maturation, fatigue, illness or through the use of drug. So, this is all about the nature of learning. Hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you and keep smiling.